Hey everyone, Coach Greg here. Welcome to Coach's Corner. We are cooking in the kitchen today. I have Mrs. Coach with me who is whipping us up a really nice little high protein quiche recipe. I know you're thinking quiche, ooh, fatty, horrible, greasy, but not at always and depends on how you make it. Uh, we're going to post up the recipe so you can follow along perfectly at home and you can make any adjustments as you see fit for your own taste. So you can see out in front of us here, we're going to take a half a dozen eggs, three quarters cup of milk, salt and pepper to taste. You can check the recipe on that. A uh, couple cups of cheese and some turkey sausage for us. We lean it, brown it, lean it so it's not greasy. That's part of the non-greasy part. And a pre-made uh, pie crust because we're just, quite frankly, not going to make one. Um, so basically to take the ingredients together, we're going to start with our meat. We add extra protein to ours. The, the recipe calls for a particular amount. We put in extra. Again, you want that protein carb ratio high on the protein level. Um, that helps keep you in the more balanced range. Then we're going to cover it with our first cup of cheese. We like the Colby Jack blend because it makes a nice creamy texture, good flavor. There's a question from the gallery. Uh, question, can we put bacon in it? You could, but the bacon's going to make it fattier and a little less healthy. So turkey sausage is more healthy. Good question. Thank you. Or you can go with a lean ham or another kind of meat. You can get creative with your meat for flavors too, even if you could do a chicken if you want. And you can add lots of vegetables. You can add some onions. You can add red, green, uh, yellow bell peppers. Remember, the bright bell peppers are full of nutrients and they add the flavors. We're gonna skip the peppers just because that's not a thing for our house. We don't eat the peppers, but they're really good nutrients, really high density. So, Mrs. Coach, just pour that egg mixture right over the top. It's this simple. You're just gonna spread it around, make sure it all fits in the crust evenly. Put a little bit more cheese on top. Again, if you want a little bit more pizzazzy-ish, you can put some Parmesan on it or a different flavored cheese to add some more tang or some tart. Again, whatever you like for your taste. It's this easy. It goes in the oven for... 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And then it's going to come out all golden delicious. You can serve it for dinner, for breakfast. There it goes. Bye, bye, quiche. Um, again, serve it with some fruit, a side of fresh fruit. If it's a dinner plate, you can add a salad to it. Uh, add what you want. Again, balance it out. Add, balance it with some foods with green colors, bright colors. And again, it's high protein, lower fat, lower grease. So hopefully you enjoyed that recipe. Leave us a comment down below when you try it. Let us know what your ingredients are. Again, we use turkey, turkey sausage and Colby Jack. Let us know what you use to make yours uh, personal and to your taste. So we're going to have the, the quiche out in just a couple minutes. We're going to show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Here's the finished product. Thank you, Mrs. Coach. It looks amazing. Okay. Golden brown cheese crispiness. It looks delicious. We're going to let it cool for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to devour it. Uh, while it was cooking, we did a little short family workout, so we're good to go, ready to eat. So enjoy it. Leave us a comment. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe to our channel. Be healthy. Be fit. Be empowered. Be empowered. See you next time.